Hello everyone, I'm Hillary with Dominion Tea, and today we're celebrating the Lunar New Year with our own flight. So, the Chinese zodiac, right, and our 12 characters, we're going into the year of the wooden dragon. Wow, a dragon. Uh, for 2024, that's kind of fitting, actually, from an international standpoint. Uh, so, what are we going to do to celebrate this beautiful mythical character uh, and the Chinese and the Lunar New Year's that have been around since mm, 5th century BC, even later than that? Um, we're going to start with one of the most beautiful Chinese teas around, and this is Dragon Well. And in our instance, this is a pre-King Ming Dragon Well, meaning it was harvested before the King Ming holiday, which marks usually the start of the monsoon season in China. So you're talking harvesting uh, somewhere in the month of March, usually. Um, so this is a beautiful hand-pressed flat green tea. It's going to have a whole bunch of flavors in here. So you're talking dry grass, hay, all sorts of different herbal flavors, give or take what you routinely, I have clients that say parsley, I have others that get basil. It's a fun green tea, and if you're into green teas, this is a great one to go explore. Next, you can't have a year of a dragon without some golden fortune. So this is a beautiful, earthy, right, Tu cha. So this is our baked pu'er, modern form. So you're going to get a lot of mushroom some mulch, a little bit of peat moss in there. This is a gorgeous pu'er tea, right? So you're going to drop one of these squares into your strainer. Uh, five minutes, boiling water. Don't, don't shoot on that. You won't like the flavor. And then you're going to re-steep it a ridiculous number of times. So enjoy this one. And then last but not least, just because it's a wooden dragon, so you got to have an earthy, woody flavor, we tossed in Lapsing Souchong. So admittedly, this is my favorite tea out of China. Uh, probably more so for the story behind it, uh, but I do love the flavor. So this is a pine smoked tea out of the Fujian province of China. Right? So this is one of the homes of tea, but most importantly, this is where the Europeans came into contact with tea. Right? So the Portuguese show up in the middle of a civil war in China, and the tea masters in Fujian, the story goes, were hiding their tea leaves in their smokehouse, and they honestly thought the tea was ruined. But the Portuguese didn't know better, and the Chinese sold it to them. And the Portuguese sail this back around to Europe, sell it, have a great success with it, and sail back. Keep in mind, that's a 12-month turnaround time for those sailors. They come back and ask for more. Uh, and what amazes me is to this day, Lapseng Suchong, more of it is exported out of China than is consumed in China. That is the only tea with that story. Um, and what does that mean? The Chinese jokingly call it Westerner's tea, and I could see why. Uh, some of your famous drinkers of this tea are Winston Churchill and uh, Theodore Roosevelt. But it is a gorgeous pine smoke tea. That pine smoke takes this black tea, makes it interestingly sweet, and you're going to coat your entire mouth with it. So it is a gorgeous black that if you haven't ventured into, it's okay if you can't handle the nose of it. I suggest you just test it. Uh, try it, you'll work your way into it. It's well worth having in your tea chest. And so this year is going to be a fun year with the Year of the Dragons, so go out and keep exploring tea. If you enjoyed learning more about tea with us, hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when we add more videos to our channel. And check out the highlighted videos to learn even more about tea. And last but not least, you can check out all of the teas we talk about in our videos at dominiontea.com.